We have got a project coming up for the Kubota BX23S. This tractor is decked out pretty nice, but it is missing one of the critical components that a lot of tractor owners want, but they don't get out of the gate. So we're gonna install a Summit Hydraulics, a DIY, do-it-yourself diverter kit to get a third function up front so you can use a grapple, a hydraulic blade, all sorts of things. We've made a video all about the uses of a third function. It can be really handy, but it can be really costly to get it done at a dealer. So get a DIY solution. You can do it in a couple hours. We did it over on the 1025R a couple years ago. Gonna th go through the same process on the Kubota BX. I've got a kit specific for that now too, and all the Kubota lineup. So save your money, do it yourself. If I can do it, I'm telling you, you can too. Put all that money you saved towards a grapple. I forgot, maybe the most important part save 5% off with code GWT on Summit Hydraulics website too. So we've got three things going on here. Uh, these two boxes they just sent me, one of these is gonna have that, that diverter, that third function kit for up front, and one of them is a rear remote as well. So we've got the backhoe on there now. I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna do the third function up front first. We're gonna tackle that one here. So I think it's in this box, it could be that one. And then also, I'm just pointing this out, we've actually taken this, this is a hydraulic multiplier. We took this off my John Deere 4066R, I'm gonna end up putting this on my big Kubota M4 tractor. It's got a couple of rear remotes, but those get used up quickly. Um, it didn't pan out this year, but I was gonna add on a, uh, a rear snowblower, which had a hydraulic chute rotation, a hydraulic deflector, a hydraulic back drag. I've got a hydraulic top link on there. That's four hydraulic circuits right there that you would need, that you would use up. You can go through those circuits quickly, so it's a really cheap way with a hydraulic multiplier to get additional hydraulic functions on your tractor. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear my heavy breathing. You're right before we were shooting video, uh, I beat uh, my brother in the best two out of three. No, you can't edit, you edit this out and you're, and you're fired. Not really, not really, but. Um, but to be fair, he did beat me in a best out of five, I think it was earlier. Was that dog or what were we playing? Pig, dog, around the world, I can't remember. But anyway, he's, he's been getting the best of me lately, I'll tell you that. So, okay, so this looks, yeah, here's our, here's our joystick right here. This is one of the, the most, I guess, um, user, most the user interface. It's the primary user interface. So this is what you're going to end up putting on the end of your joystick, okay, your loader joystick. This looks like it clamps on, maybe slides over, and then clamps right down on on there too, and it's got two buttons on there. That's a comfortable design. All right, so we've got the, the joystick part with the cabling there, got our hoses, all right, which looks like two sets. You're gonna have a set that goes um, from the, the solenoid box, which is probably in here, I'm guessing, up to your front end loader, you're gonna have something that goes from the tractor to the solenoid box. So you've got two pairs of hoses there, bunch of fittings. Okay, these are just all fittings. They're gonna screw on really easy, no big deal. Looks like this is probably a clamp of some kind. I'm guessing maybe for the, the solenoid block um, to clamp that to the loader arm or something else. Some more little goodies. Another wiring harness, just our other half. And this is, oh, I bet I know what that's for. I bet these two things right here work in conjunction to clamp um, the fittings and the, and the hoses up on your loader arm. Okay, and then tucked down in here, you are gonna have your instructions that come along with it all. So again, we're gonna do a whole install video on this, but I think I want to just do a refresher for you folks on what this is all about and why it's so important and why a company like Summit Hydraulics exists. And I think primarily that's because most tractor dealers, and a lot of that's changing, Right, I think because of the world of YouTube where um, folks like myself and Tractor Time with Tim and Tractor Mike and um, Outdoors with the Morgans, all sorts of channels are showing these tractors with cool attachments on there, but those attachments require additional hydraulic capability besides what comes standard on a tractor. And so Summit Hydraulics found that problem, discovered a solution for it, and has really done a great job of expanding out with specific John Deere products, specific Kubota products, specific Coyote, LS, and they just keep growing and growing, both for the front end loader and on the backside too. So you have like front remotes for the loader, you have rear remotes for those three-point attachments that need it too, or a hydraulic top link, for example. And the challenge is, is that you get these added on from your John Deere dealer or your Kubota dealer, and you're gonna get charged a really big premium. Number one, because it's an OEM part, right? So that's gonna typically cost more. And then you're paying shop labor there too, which is not cheap. You know, I mean, I would guess it's around hundred bucks an hour, give or take, depending on your dealership. And 
you know, there, there's some that are a horror story. I know the John Deere 1025R with a Mauser cab on it. To take that cab off and install the third function and then put that cab back on, it's like an all day job. It's super expensive. So it's not unheard of at all to pay $1,500 to $2,000 for something like that. You can get it done depending on your dealer. You don't hear of it too much anymore ever happening under a thousand bucks. I think probably 1250 to 1500 is a pretty common price point. Whereas these semi hydraulic kits are well under a thousand bucks. So I'm a visual learner. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. Whether you're shopping for a new tractor or a used tractor, you can easily see if it has those extra hydraulics or not, all right? And so this is a, a Kubota BX. It does not have those hydraulics on there. Typically somewhere, I would say in this area, across here, normally on this side, but sometimes in the middle and sometimes they wind up over here. You're gonna see a couple of hydraulic outlets on there. So nothing on here. I'm gonna show you my other tractor. I've, I've got it set up on so you can see the difference. Okay, so down here, this is where I added my Summit Hydraulics diverter kit a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. I can't remember exactly when, but you see extra hoses and outlets that are up here not plugged into anything that's an extra circuit that's what you would plug in the hoses for a grapple for or a hydraulic snow plow for example right into there to control it your tractor comes with hydraulics every tractor comes with hydraulics these days all right but those basic hydraulics the first function and the second function are used to control your front end loader one function to raise the whole loader up and lower the whole thing back down the other function is going to going to curl back a bucket or a pusher or it's going to rock it back forward so you could dump out a bucket or curl it back if you have something picked up in there or level out a set of pallet forks okay so that's two functions that are you still need those if you have a grapple on you still want to be able to to roll a grapple forwards and backwards you still need to be able to pick your loader up and down so that is where this extra set of hoses and connections comes into play it's that third function that allows you to then also close the grapple, open the grapple back up, something you wouldn't be able to do without it. Uh, a couple other things too, the back of both of these tractors have remotes on them, all right? But there's two different kinds of remotes. I don't wanna confuse you too much, but right now I've got this extra hose right here and there's a quick coupler right here that you can see. It's, they're connected together. So it's closing a loop that's staying on the tractor. This is called Power Beyond. And since I have a backhoe for this tractor, it takes a certain kind of hydraulics that plug right into the backhoe. The backhoe has its own joysticks to make it operate and everything else. So there's no extra lever that's on the tractor or a button to push on here. But when you have the backhoe off, you have to plug these hoses back together so that the hydraulic flow circulates properly through the tractor's hydraulic system. Hey, pardon the interruption, just really quick. If you need a tractor attachment, give us a shot. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. We have attachments for the front end loader, the three point hitch, most likely something to fit your needs. We have rewards, free shipping and financing too. So here's a good look at a double pair of outlets that's on the back of a tractor or two rear remotes. You have four outlets, one, two, three, and four, or I guess one, two, this is a pair and then this is also a pair. So you can do two different functions back here and you'll see I've got a hydraulic top link that replaced the manual top link. So this uh, rod can extend out and retract back in, change the angle of whatever's on my three point hitch, really nice. This kind of setup is totally different than Power Beyond. So this, these two lines right here are controlled with a lever that I have in my cab. So I, I'm sitting in the seat up there, the tractor's on of course, I push the lever one way and it retracts the, the rod back into the cylinder. I pull it back the other way and it sends the rod back out. So this kind of rear remote has levers up there to operate whatever this, hydraulic top link that's plugged in doesn't have its own controls on it, right? So like a backhoe has its own levers to take the boom out, dig a hole, all that kind of thing. The tractor has the remote to control these outlets here. And so me as a semi-knowledgeable tractor guy, when I buy my own tractors, I like to look for things if I can that are set up with these kind of extras on them already. This model in particular is one of the few that comes standard with rear remotes. One that comes standard with rear remotes and front remotes is a Summit TX25 tractor. Not to be confused with Summit Hydraulics, Summit Tractors is its own brand. They can see the need that the customers have. They can see the lack of education that's given out there by other dealers. So they set their tractor up right out of the gate, including those remotes. But unfortunately, most tractors, again, don't come with those extra hydraulics and that's where Summit Hydraulics comes into play. All right, so briefly, diverter versus third function. So a diverter, is when you're gonna redirect or divert hydraulic flow. A third function is truly gonna mean it's, it's a third function. So you could potentially, if your tractor has enough 
hydraulic capacity to do two functions at one time. Whereas with a diverter, say the curl roll function is what you're gonna divert to the open close function of the grapple. When you push a button down and hold it, and then you move left or right in the joystick, instead of curling or rolling the bucket, you're gonna open and close the jaws of the grapple. If you let go of that button and you go left and right, it's gonna go back to the normal curl roll function. That's different. A third function, you could potentially engage that, that third function at the same time. So you're opening or closing the jaws of the grapple. There'd be two buttons on there. So if you push one button to open the jaws of the grapple and you're also dumping at the same time, you can do that with a true third function. So it sounds like the Kubota kit that they have is gonna be a true third function on there. I guess we'll see when we get it hooked up. I'm surprised actually that this tractor has enough hydraulic flow to really smoothly do two functions at one time. Um, I did get very used to using the diverter version on the 1025R. You know, when you're using a grapple or something else like that in the field, you're not really going all that fast. You're in a really controlled manner because you want to do things um, in a pretty precise way, whether you're grabbing something um, right in the right spot to, to pick it up or maybe putting something down in a pile or wherever it is in a, in a very precise spot. Sometimes you're not, but oftentimes you need to have that control and there can be a, a big weight release off of the tractor too when you drop something out of a, a grapple. And so you want to do that in a controlled manner. So you're, you're moving slow, um, not having a true third function to me isn't that big of a deal, but if it has it, that's awesome. All right, so let's take a look at this rear remote kit here too, show you what that's all about. Nice to visually see what you're getting. And again, this is how these things come in. Uh, what was this? Yeah, UPS ground. So just UPS ground, so just right to you. I love it when things can come UPS ground. A little bit bigger box, that's for sure. Well, overall, it looks pretty darn similar. It looks like there's a few more components that are involved. Got a couple big boxes here instead of uh, one box. And then there's a bigger block right here, which lo that looks kind of like our multiplier block there too. Actually, I, I think this must be a, um, a multi-valve setup here. You can see all these, all these ports on here. So typically, you're gonna have two ports on one side or the other. So you can cap off whichever ones you don't need. So if it makes more sense um, with the hose layout, the configuration, wherever it's mounted on your, your tractor, you can just either or, all right? So that's nice to have that option. And then you're gonna have a pair, A and B, it says right on there, okay? So one, two, three, four. I'm not sure what that one is. We'll find out when we get around to it. It probably says on the website too but brackets are included in here. And again, these are all model specific. So they've come a long way. Back when um, I put that first kit on the, the 1025R, that was one of their first model specific kits that they had out and they've really done a good job. They'll, what they'll do, they'll go right out to a dealership that they wanna work with um, if they're gonna build out like their Coyote line. That's one of their more recent lines that they're just working on building out. They go out there, they, they lay hands on the machines, they look at the layout, they take the measurements to see how long the hoses need to be, to see where they can mount something to the tractor on the loader arm itself or on the back side of the tractor where the connections need to be made um, for the grapple up front. So where this going to mount up there, the best location, so it's out of the way and protected. And then they'll actually send a kit out. You know, if a dealer's willing to have them come out there and do it, they'll also send them a kit after they're going through the prototype phase, go through the install, make sure it's, it's really good. It's really set up the way that it needs to be, get an idea of how long it's going to take to install and everything else. So these things are getting dialed in. They're doing it in a very professional manner and they're getting better every day. So this is if you don't have any rear remotes at all, you can add that on with this kit here, our existing one that we have. And I'm going to take this over and show you. This is, <laughs> this thing's awesome. So this is, has six pairs on there, right there really cool and let me take it over and show you we're trying to find the best spot to mount this uh, on the m4 that's a that's the downside that's one of the things that's bad i guess about a cab tractor is it doesn't have the big rops bar that's a convenient location to mount this kind of stuff on and there's not a ton of room back here so you got to find a, a good spot to mount everything and I'll, I'll just set this here for now so the difference with a multiplier like this is if you already have a rear remote and you need more rear remotes more power baby you can get this added on, but you're gonna have to take a pair of hoses, like say you're just picking this out right here, and you're gonna route those and plug them into the side. And then if you still wanna have that function, you're gonna use this very first one here. So you're, you're really adding on one, two, three, four, five. The first one's kind of a wash, but all those extra ones after that are the extra functions that you're getting. So 
you have two here, you have six here, that's eight, but you minus one, so you wind up with seven possible hydraulic remotes on the backside of this tractor. That's pretty cool. So folks, hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding of what these remotes are all about and what they can do. Again, we'll do an install on this tractor specifically so you can really get a better understanding there too. Check out our 1025R install. Same general concept, just a different machine of course, and go to Summit Hydraulics website, okay? All sorts of stuff, all sorts of kits for the front end loaders, the backside. They have more stuff coming out all the time as well. Don't forget, save 5% with code GWT. So then, once you get set up with those extra remotes, get your grapple, get your snow plow, get whatever it is on the backside from goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country every day of the week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button right down below. We'd love to have you tag along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.